Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching Furutech as I told in the last video of nameless rom flood of custom rom has been started so we got yet another most customizable rom by the developer Idurado called as the spark os though we are getting the lots of the rom for the oneplus 6 and 60 but some of the rom development is stopped like the nameless pixel experience plus while other roms like the sabria evolution x lineage os 4 lineage os getting slower updates in this situation, Awakon was by the Optimus Prime and the Spark was by the Idurado Sims best developer who are supporting the ROMs time to time. Today in this video, we will see the amazing customization that this ROM offers which I never seen in the other ROMs. If some customizations are present in the other ROMs, they are not so advanced like the Spark OS. I tested the basic functionalities are working or not in the ROM. ROM performance test which shows the highest level of the scores till the date I got. I didn't show the flashing process in this video, so watch the video given in iCard as the flashing is same as shown in the old video. So watch the video till the end, now without further ado, let's get started. I did the flashing process and rebooted the phone, here you guess the amazing new boot animation of the Spark OS with its own setup. ROM booted with the launcher launcher, now let's go to the about phone to check the details of the new ROM. Instantly when you go to the settings of the phone, we can see it has the totally new theme. In the about phone similar to the new cyber OS, this ROM has the full details of the device like device name, battery capacity, chipset version, etc. Along with this device image with the currently running wallpaper on the home screen. This is the Android 12 L version with the old easter egg of Android 12. Security patch is of 5th July 2022. Kernel version is 4.9.227, build it with the Google Client Toolchain 12.0.7. This ROM is built it on the 12th of the July 2022. Now let's see all the basic things are working or not. Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, Bluetooth, location, alert slider, always on display, fingerprint sensor, NFC, all the things are working with all the sensors except the barometer which is not present in our phone. OLT calling with the dual SIM networks, incoming and outgoing calls are working very well with the call recording feature. Unlimited photo backup is also working. Sadly while checking the safety net CTS profile got failed, so safety net check will fail that's why you can't use the security related application on the ROM. But you can bypass the safety net using the root method, there are a bunch of the videos available on the YouTube how to bypass the safety net. Wide oil is on the L3 security so you can't stream the Netflix or the Amazon Prime with the full HD resolution. ROM has the two different camera application, one is the simple one which doesn't have any other features. But the ROM comes with the Oxonos camera but it has some features working and some are not. In the Oxonos camera, portrait mode is not working, it's causing the forced close of camera application. Netscape feature is working good, in the video recording 4K 60fps recording working. But the slow motion recording causing the force close few times but later it worked good. Pro mode is also not working and the timeless feature is causing the force close. So my recommendation is to use the Gcam instead of Oxonos camera because it has most of the features working except the 4K 60fps recording. Google MGC stable build has most of the features working like the panorama mode, photo spear, portrait mode and the time lapse. But it doesn't have the working 4K 60fps and the slow motion. Now it's time to check the amazing customization features of the Spark OS. In the settings panel, we get the complete separate section for the customization features called as the fireworks. It has the different tabs like the themes, lock screen, status bar, features, miscellaneous and the power menu tabs. In the theme section, we get the all the old customization features like the Monet engine, bunch of the headline fonts, it has the different style icon packs, we can add the separate signal icons along with the Wi-Fi icon styles. It has a different icon shapes, but these icon shapes will not be applicable in the launcher launcher, but they are visible all over the setting as you can see on the screen. If you like to use the old style navigation bar, then you get the lots of amazing navbar styles which look super cool. Here comes the amazing and the unique custom feature to change the settings layout of the phone. Here you get the AOSP, Oxygenus 11, Oxygenus 12, Spark and the Spark Clean layouts which gives something different looks to your system panel. 
After applying the settings, system UI gets restarts. Here we can see how the settings looks like. Notification dismiss button in the notification panel has the different styles with the customizable background. In the lock screen, we get the amazing lock screen clocks and these different clocks gives the amazing look to the lock screen. But when you guess any notification clock and the notification may glitch in between, this may be the bug of this ROM. Lock screen has the media art cover setting which is working and it has the different universe like the media cover art filter with the media cover art blur level setting. ROM gets the music pulse setting which has the bunch of the different settings. You can add the music pulse on the lock screen, always on display or on the home screen or in the quick setting panel also. Instead of these, all other old customizations like the date and the clock, status bar icon customizations are available in the ROM. ROM also has the ambient light notification on the always on screen. It has the new reticker heads up notification too. Toggle for the colored notification in the status bar is available. ROM has the new add-ons game space with the bunch of the tunables. Game space all has the different options like the performance standard and the battery. Show fierce info, log gesture, disable heads up and the screen stay awake options. Smart pixel is the amazing setting to turn off the screen pixel of the display. So we can save more battery but it's not working. Hope this bug will be fixed in the next update. Instead of this, under the display setting, we get the live display setting. In the color mode setting, we get the red, green and the blue color calibration setting along with the natural, boosted and the saturated color profiles. ROM also comes with the new pocket mode detection. Here we can disable the screen and the hardware buttons when the phone is in the pocket. As the ROM comes with the launcher launcher, so we didn't get some Android 12 L feature, but some amazing features like the new add-ons at the glance feature settings are available in the home screen settings where we can add the weather, battery status, now playing, date, time, like settings to be visible in the at a glance. In the recent setting, we can enable or disable the screenshot share and the clear all buttons. We can also enable the new taskbar setting. These are the dock applications available all over the ROM and we can minimize this taskbar by long pressing on it. We can add this taskbar application in the split screen by dragging it in the recent panel. But currently this taskbar is causing some lag in the ROM, so my recommendation is to keep it disabled. All the things are discussed, now let's see the performance of the ROM. ROM is pretty good in the performance, but still I felt some lag here and there sometimes. As this is the heavily customized ROM, you may not feel the super smoothness. But when I ran the Geekbench test, I got the score of 504 for the single core and for multi core I got the score of 2204 which is I think the highest score till the date I got on any ROM. For the open gel drivers I got the score of 2240 which is also very good score while on the Hulkan graphics I got the score of 1886. Overall in the scores of the numerical values ROM beated all the ROMs but I feel the nameless is the still better than this ROM. If you ask about the bugs ROM did not have any bug except the OK Google voice activation if you kept that tab enabled, then you may feel the lag in the videos and the music playback. So keep the tab disabled or use the OK Google root module given in iCard to activate this. So that is this is all about this new ROM except the issues of the safety net and the OK Google. ROM seems pretty good and can be used as a daily driver. This ROM is the one of the most customizable ROM ever I have seen. Now if you think I help you then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.